Hello everybody, welcome back to RimWorld with Reinstein. How are you all today? You know what, we just had some fresh peaches grow, so Ronnie has just had some lovely peaches to eat. Which is good, because he's malnutrition. He's uh, malnourished. Um, yeah, we got a couple of things we need to take care of this episode. One is upgrading Var's prison cell, so I've built a table and stool. And there's a standing lamp. Good thing! We've now completed our turrets, just pause the game here. For some reason, that turret is slightly broken already. Don't know why that is. Anyway, so we can start fighting this poison ship. Um, there's a dead body here. I wonder... The armored vest is in good condition. I kind of want that armored vest. Mr. Pin maybe would like it. Yes. Go, Mr. Pin. I'm going to get Mr. Pin out here to come and strip this guy. Then when he goes back... Then we can worry about destroying the poison ship. Yes, very, very important. Come on, Pin. God, it's a long way out, isn't it, mate? Bit of a trek for you. Never mind, it's very important that we get everyone armed and ready to fight. I suppose, seeing as Mr. Pin has a uh, gun, he didn't exactly need this, but never mind. I'm going to get him to wear it anyway, because I'm nice like that. He's a valued subscriber, and Ergo over here is not. <laughs> Unless, of course... Uh, the homeless gamer wants to be him, in which case that's fine. Alright, shall we start our turrets to attack this uh, here? Let's do it. Let's see what comes out of there. Whoa, four centipedes. Holy crap. Alright, all turrets on deck. Start fighting these. What weapons are they carrying? Inferno cannon. Oh shit, and miniguns. Oh crap. Alright, well, you know what I'm going to do is focus all of my guns on the frickin' Inferno Cannon people. Because they cause the biggest amount of damage. Thankfully it's raining, so that's a good time to start engaging with these guys. Alright, let's just get them all focusing on this one. And then once they put that down, we'll get the other guys. Mini guns are not that accurate, so I'm not too bothered about that. Yeah, this rain's kind of good. It's going to help our turrets not be on fire quite as much. Look how much damage they're taking though. Yeah, my turrets are hitting both of these. Sweet. Yeah, look at look at the amount of damage they've absorbed already. I'm really hoping we don't need a, a sniper or the rest of us to go out and help out with this attack. What is everyone else doing anyway? Mickey D, I gotta make sure you guys don't go up there. Like that, Mickey D. What the hell, dude? Time to set restrictions. Observe the toxic fallout. Um, toxic fallout zone. Mickey D. Observe the toxic fallout zone. There you go. Go back. Okay, how are we doing over here? This turret is still 40% intact. Good. And these turrets have hardly taken any damage at all. See? You will never fight me. I will kick your ass. Let's go back and check on what everyone else is doing. Did I set Mr. Pin back on his art? Oh, yes, I did. Lovely. Got some lovely sculptures here. That's a good one. Normal one. And another good one. I wonder if we should sell them or keep them. I was planning on putting them in everyone's bedrooms, wasn't I? Yeah, we killed one of these guys. Yeah, that's it. That's, I think they're going to take care of this. We don't need to worry about manually uh, focusing them. Yeah, both of the Inferno guys are dead. Wicked, and these turrets, providing they hold up, are going to act as a nice first line of defense for any future raids from that angle. Uh, what did I want to do? Yeah, these pieces of artwork, I'm going to install them in people's bedrooms. So we'll have one there, one there, and that one there. Now this is something I had already done in a previous uh, episode, a couple of episodes back when the game kept crashing, uh, but obviously it got lost during the crashes. Uh, not to worry, the crash issue I believe has been fixed. It seems to be something to do with AMD Radeon drivers. There's an ironic thing there. They've created something called the uh, Crimson, Crimson Software, I think it is, and the drivers are actually as bad as the name. Like, what kind of name is that? Like, sure, their company colour is red, but like crimson, that's ridiculous. And the software is absolutely shit, so uh, yeah. Alright, we've killed this, cool. Killed all these guys. So, um, what I did was basically um, load back to like four drivers ago, before crimson software 
And now it works perfectly. Stupid. These companies always try and improve things and end up messing things up. I heard something about an NVIDIA driver that was released a couple of weeks back that basically destroyed your computer if it was installed on certain computers, not everybody's computer. So don't panic too much, but it might be worth checking on forums just to find out about that if you're thinking of upgrading your graphics cards. Uh, your graphics drivers, sorry. I'm just going to mine over there too. Yay, we killed the poison ship, finally! And I'm going to get someone to hold this minigun back. Oh, it's forbidden, that's why. Everyone, you're unrestricted again. Let's get Flare out here. Come along, Mr. Flair. Hold that minigun. That's lovely. And the turrets are still in good condition. We can concentrate on building other stuff. Yay. Do you think I should build a wall to cover, like, all of this, uh... All of this power line? It kind of makes it look ugly if I do that. So I'm not sure. Um, yeah. We're also waiting for loads of, like, cotton to grow. Cool thing is, if I do that, then I'm going to be able to get, uh loads of cotton for our billiards table that we're building. Uh, we don't have a great deal of cotton right now. Look at all these corpses everywhere. <laughs> um, yeah, what I've done as well is set Ergo to like chop some wood for a little while because we're kind of low on um, low on wood and we always need more wood and we're in a rainforest so might as well make use of it. We also need the wood for our billiards table. So let's see what everyone else is up to. Flare! Ah, Flare's cool. Yeah, Flare's m smelting all this metal from s uh, Slag. Where is he storing it, though? Let's, let me just follow him for a second. Where do you put that, mate? Once you've grabbed it. Wow, st actually, that stuff degrades as well over time. Ah, he's putting it in there. Good, that's where I wanted it to be. Good job, my friend. Alright, this Jerber still stubbornly, stubbornly refuses to join our colony. And he's urgently hungry, yeah. That's a bit of an issue we have. We're still low on food. Oh, God, let me slow the game down. Let me just check on weapons as well for everyone. All right, ergo. Tell you what I am going to do now, actually. Let's find where Mr. Pin is. And unfortunately, Mr. Pin, I've decided I'm going to take off that armored vest. And give it... Who's our melee guy? Michael. He's got an armoured vest, but it's not the best condition, so I'm going to get him to wear that armoured vest. And then Ergo, who's also melee, can wear this slightly worse condition one. So our melee troops, gradually, I can get them all shields. Michael's got a shield too, yeah, cool. Because that's a lot better way of, well, that's a kind of a cool way of getting them into fights, rather than just standing back, you can send them in with a shield. and charge the enemy. Ah, oh, cool. Flare's deconstructing the uh, centipede. Sweet. Colonist needs treatment. That seems to have passed. How are you guys getting on with your sleeping sickness? 77% immune. I imagine Ronnie's fine now. Yeah, you've developed immunity. And you're wired on caffeine. That's what I like to see. Bloody hell, everyone's starving here. This is not cool. Aha, we got blueberries. We has blueberries to stave off some hunger. And eventually, what's this? Hey, bananas! Chiquita bananas! Hey, hold the bananas in. We're gonna make a fruit salad or something. <gasps> Cocoa pods, please be food. Why am I always so short on food? How the hell did I ever survive the ice sheet? Uh, let's get Mickey D to come and haul in this wag meat. Actually, can Michael haul it in as well? Yeah, you haul some in. And I'll get Mr. Pin to help out. Three people should be enough to bring in all that meat. Wicked. Alright, now Oz is cooking. Yeah, we need Oz to still carry on cooking for a little bit. Simply because our chief chef, our four-star Michelin, three-star Michelin? Whatever the highest Michelin stars in chefing is, <laughs> uh, is still ill with his sleeping sickness. And he's malnourished, which... It's ridiculous, really, if you're a chef. <laughs> uh, ooh, another good sculpture. Granite one this time. Ooh, fancy. Let's put that in there. Everyone's bedroom is just going to be epic. All right, yes, we're still waiting for the granite blocks. I wonder if anyone's used our chess table yet. 
and Mickey D is using up all our medicine, trying to treat people for this sleeping sickness. Imagine if everyone in your colony had it. That would, like, wipe you out big time. All right, what I want to do now is mine along here. I'm going to replace that with wool, and then I can run the power cable down there. Uh, and this power cable's kind of getting on my nerves as well. Uh, so let's mine along here. Lovely. Uh, what was I going to do? I had something flit across my mind then and disappeared as soon as it came. Uh, oh yeah, we're still working on the prosthetics workbench. That's it. I wanted to put people back on their normal jobs now. So Ronnie can go back to... Yeah, we'll let him repair and mine. Michael Cormier. Uh, I think you can carry on hauling now. And Brony repairing and cooking. So cooking and hauling for you, I think. I think I'm happy with that. I might take a look at that off camera. Right, look at that. Everyone's having cups of tea. Where's Ash and Crow? They're having a town meeting without you, Ash and Crow. It's like, God damn it. They're, they're not including me in their plans anymore now that I got an eye patch. You fuckers. <laughs> oh look, nice bowl of uh, blueberries there, Favar. Feeling bad. You know what? I need to smooth these floors for the prisoners. What I have been working on as well is smoothing out these floors out here, because then I can re um, cover over them with soil. Opening up more growing uh, areas for us, which is awesome. Yeah, so I, really, I want to smooth this bit out as well. Lovely, lovely. Why is no one attacking me? I'm like, beast. <laughs> no one wants to come near my colony. They're just scared. The amount of turrets around is, is putting them off. Oh yeah, Ronnie's repairing everything. Good man. Once he's finished all that, he'll get back to mining. There's that mini gun that I wanted to grab. Let's get Michael to haul that in. And how much silver is there? 120. You know what? We're not getting many traders here either, are we? Hmm. Yeah, look up. There we go. Our crops are starting to grow rather lovely. It's taken a while to get back on our feet after I messed up... Uh, messed up our food supply but we're getting there here we go what's flair eating stir fry Ooh, lovely wild meat and banana stir fry that's a bit exotic it's the kind of thing you'd have in uh, hawaii perhaps yeah there we go and mr pin is back on his sculptures lovely our base is freaking awesome now i'm happy with that what's flair doing going for a walk Lovely. Look at all these animals, mate. You know what, Flair? While you're out here, let's haul that capybara. That's a good source of protein right there. I think this is important to look around the map occasionally. Then you see bonuses like that. We could go hunting, but kind of a waste of uh, waste of my colonists' time. I think. I think we're good in terms of food now. All right, Gerber is still stubbornly refusing to join us. Mickey D's got all his crops planted, thankfully. And um, yeah, we still need to mine out this area for the animal home. Apart from that, everything is golden. What have we got here? Limestone. <gasps> yeah, we now have our simple prosthetics workbench. So let's add our bill of crafting a simple prosthetic leg. Now I just need to remind myself who it was who's got the. Uh, Egg leg, I think. Is it Mickey D? Yeah, Mickey D. Okay. So once we've crafted the peg leg, we can then complete our bionic leg and install that on Mickey D and he'll be a freaking Trojan. What's going on here? Prosthetic leg. How much material does that take? 75 steel and 35 plasteel for a simple leg. What? Bionic leg. Yeah, simple prosthetic leg. Okay. Looks like Flair's on it anyway. Oh, debug! Go away, debug! Clear. Oh, it's not happy with something. Yeah, we'll just move that up there. Can we move it? 
I don't know. I don't want to read it anyway. Uh, there we go. Unfinished plasteel. Oh, it's a. He's making a plasteel one. Whoa, fancy. Could have just made it out of wood. Never mind. Right, once he's built this, prioritize assembling bionics workbench. Why can't I get him to do that? Flare. There we go, he's already doing it. Nice. Ah, oh, this is going to be cool. Mickey D's going to have a new leg. He's going to have a new leg, Lieutenant Dane. All right, and Steve. Oh, we need to wait. We need to wait till it's built. Yes, and Ronnie's starting to mine. Cool, I'm catching up with myself now. Yay. All right, little door there. Little wall. Splendid, splendid. Mr. Pin failed to recruit VAR. Still can't get rid of this debug thing. Getting random element from empty collection. Blah, blah, blah. Load of rubbish. Okay. So, yeah. Remember, this is where we keep our animal food. And then they're going to go in there, and that's going to be their little house. And then I need to work on zoning them away from being in here. We don't want all their germs, dog hairs, and, you know, dog food lying around. Making a mess everywhere. Ooh, look at that. Pineapple. And Mickey D is eating a lovely plate of banana, blueberry, and wild meat. Some exotic meals they create. I, I like it. Coolio. Coolio. Alright, everyone's asleep, so we can fast forward now. Alright, have they built this? Yep, we've now got our bigger geothermal generator. I wonder how much power we need. Maybe we should expand our batteries. We can't really though if the animals are going to live in there. Didn't think this through, did I? There we go. Flair's making this. Yay! The bionic leg. He's making it out of steel. It's going to be heavy as fudge. Aha! We've got a raid. We haven't had one for ages. A group of outlanders from Drunkard's Town. Yes, yes. Those people. Ooh, look at them. They're packing some weaponry here. This one's even got a little little gun, little uh, PDW, Misby Trail, hey, he's got Molotovs, the fudge, alright, well, come on in, boys, we're going to have a party, come on, walk over, they're going to walk through these first wave of turrets, oh, this is not going to go well, let's stay tuned and witness the destruction, as long as none of my colonists go up there, there we go, Gerard is the first one to get shot in the face yes build complete craft bionic leg let's grab hold of Mickey D and build right leg is where we want to install it and I want to make sure ah oh, Mickey D you're the one with the best doctoring skills I think pins the second best oh dear I hope you don't die during surgery <gasps> Ashen Crow is quite good yeah, we'll get Ashen Crow to do it. Hey, we now have a new recruit. Var. Her. Him. Her. No, it is him. Wow, he looks weird. <laughs> him of Drunkard's Town. Cool. So, let's, before we continue our firefight, let's set his job. So, Var, he's an artist. 16 art. Mr. Pin is 15. Um. So VAR is going to... Not bad at tailoring either. I think we need some new clothes. We'll get VAR to do that. Yeah, and then clean afterwards. Alright, continue the firefight! Some of them are getting through. Kimmy, her with the PDW. She's coming for you, Oz! Oh no, she's not. Dead. Oh, the melee guys are running rampant. Wow, they are making short work of those turrets. Well, anyway, they were a first line of defense, so not too big of a deal. Ronnie's going to repair them. No, Ronnie. No, 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 no. So we sneak up behind this, this Kimmy and shoot her in the face. Probably best not to, isn't it? You're moving really slow. I think that's because you're going through the marshland. <gasps> Run, they're coming! Run, everybody! Get back to your toxic fallout shelter! Go! Go! 
Quick, 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 they're coming! Oz! Get back! Here they come, they're gonna run. Oh, we need to turn turrets on! <gasps> Flick that power switch! Come on, turrets! Quickly, quickly, Brony! Brony is coming to save the day! Look how, look how uh, my. Um, Load of rubbish and garbage out there slows their running down. Ha 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 ha. Hey, the turret's not working. Ergo, what are you doing back to out there? Oh god, you're running a gauntlet of fire and flare. Where are you going? Cleaning dirt? Hell no, dude. Get your butts back in here now. I did set them to go only in the fallout shelter but never mind all right we fought them off and they're gonna try and escape now but I don't see that going well for them ha <laughs> I am your god why can't I click on that person why can't I click on you there you go they're all dead splendid Right, the cleanup shall begin in earnest next episode. Thank you for watching. I'm just going to set everyone to unrestricted. And if you've enjoyed the episode, please click that like button and consider supporting me on Patreon. There's a link in the description where you can follow and support me financially from as little as $1 per month. Thank you, guys. Have a splendid day. I hope, I hope you enjoy and I hope you consider joining me for the next episode. Thank you. Bye-bye.